So in this video, I wanted to give you a true insight into actually what it's like to be a full-time dropshipper. Um, I think it's easy nowadays to go onto YouTube, go onto Facebook and see dropshipping as this like really quick and easy and kind of like a shortcut way into making money really quickly when that just really isn't the case or at least it hasn't been for me for the past four years. So I wanted to do this video to kind of paint a true picture of actually what it's like day to day living and breathing dropshipping um, and basically just go through the good, the bad and the ugly really I'm gonna start with the bad and then finish on the good because last thing I want to do is give people a sour taste or have people leaving this video with a sour taste in their mouth thinking um, or I don't want to stop anybody from starting a drop shipping business because ultimately it's still a great business model and the potential it offers people with low budgets pretty much anybody to get started it's still a really amazing drop shipping but um, business model and given all the heartache and stress and pressure I've been through over the past four years if I had a time machine to go back and I had the option to do it all again um, then I still would ten times over so by all means I don't want to put people off I just want to paint that true picture of what it's actually like so people know what they're getting into because when things are going good they're going really good but then the flip side of that is when things go bad they go really bad too and I mean proper bad like there's been times where I've been lying in bed between kind of like midnight and 4 a.m. just like literally sick to the stomach because I'm so stressed and so worried about something that's happened whether it's increasing the budget of an ad set to say 500 pounds for the first time and not knowing whether it's gonna work or not is it gonna flop um, if it is gonna flop then how am I gonna pay myself this month then how am I gonna pay my bills etc I mean that kind of comes down to money management which is another video um, but still it's something that you need to consider and keep in mind so to get started with the bad then, it's not something you hear a lot of people talking about, but it's important that you hear this. Um, and the first thing I want to cover is the reliability. So when it comes to running a dropshipping business, then not everything is within your control. So for example, then PayPal, um, even to this day, I think it's, um, I can't remember, I think it's about 70% of my orders still come through PayPal. Um, being a third party company, if for whatever reason they choose to shut me down, then essentially I could lose up to 70% of all my orders. In fact, I'll put a screenshot up somewhere so you can just see. Um, so that's something you have to keep in mind is that not everything is within your control. The same thing with Facebook ads as well. Um, if they turn around tomorrow and say, hey, we're banning your ad account, then essentially that'll be pretty much 80% of my revenue just gone. The other 20% coming from other things like Google ads um, and just organic traffic basically. And then the third thing is suppliers, um, whether you're drop shipping or ordering in bulk, again, with it not being the same company, something being completely out of your control. If they throw, well, to give you an example, then um, I ordered this product with a certain supplier for it must have been at least 18 months and I tend to place orders every couple of months so we're talking about nine different orders and then all of a sudden they start sending me these products made out of a different material um, a cheaper less high quality material it was, it was a poorer material basically so basically they tried to pull a fast one on me um, to reduce their costs even though I was paying the same amount so we're talking probably about 2,000 units that were completely gone to waste and yet they were sitting in my house in the UK and this supplier was five six thousand miles away so that was an issue I had to sort out something completely out of my control so just be prepared for things like that or for people to let you down basically number two is customer complaints when you get to the point where you're doing a hundred two hundred orders per day then you're probably going to be looking at half a dozen to a dozen complaints every single day from customers um, chasing their orders, saying they want refunds. Um, I've had it many times, people threatening to take me to trading standards because they think I'm ripping them off when that just isn't the case. And when you're dealing with that level of criticism on a daily basis, it can be really difficult to keep going and it can make you doubt the business, it can make you doubt yourself. Um, and I would be lying if I said that I'd never considered giving up dropshipping for that reason. So again, just keep that in mind. You do have to have um, quite thick skin if you're gonna be running a dropshipping business that does any kind of sort of decent volume. The next is the profit margins. The profit margins aren't great. Anybody who says they are is, is lying. Um, the reason being is because when you're buying one unit of something at a time versus 2,000 units of a, something at a time, then there's gonna be a huge cost saving there. So 
dropshipping in itself the profit margins aren't great or at least they're not for me there may be people out there that'll be able to make 40 50 percent drop shipping but um, i would highly doubt it to be honest unless you're bulk ordering something in in bulk um, then you're not going to be making that profit to give you an example then of like the cost saving there's a few products that i import in bulk but to give you an example then this one product that i used to drop ship cost about five pounds per unit to drop ship so that's delivered to the customer and importing in bulk is costing me 70p so that's an extra four pound 30 just off the cost of the product so that kind of illustrates that was for 1200 units as well so that just kind of illustrates how much of a cost saving there is to be had the final point i want to finish the bad reasons on is um, the fact that it's lonely being an online business you could run your business from you could sit on the toilet for 24 hours a day and it wouldn't impact how you run your business at all because it can purely be done from a computer so you don't need to talk to anyone you don't need to mix with anyone um, and one of the things that I found difficult was when I quit my job then in terms of mixing with people it almost went down to zero because I was so focused on my business working from home now if I didn't go to the gym then there would literally be weeks on end in which I just didn't leave the house because I didn't need to you can get food delivered but I used to leave the house for the gym and I'll be mixing with people that way. But another thing that happened as well is when I went drop shipping full time, um, I lost a lot of friends because people, I guess it's kind of pessimistic to say, but some people don't want you to do well. So when you do start doing well, um, they kind of remove, they stop talking to you or they treat you in a different way. So that happened to me. Um, another thing to consider as well is that I'm still to this day, I don't think I've met anyone in fact that truly knows what dropshipping is or knows how the business model works. So when it comes to looking for, for somebody to ask advice from or to get feedback from, um, it's really difficult to do because nobody understands the business model that way they can't really give a proper opinion or proper advice because you need to understand the business model before you can give somebody advice. Like you wouldn't give somebody advice on the gym if you'd never been in the gym before, if you've never been on a treadmill before, if you've never lifted weights before, it just doesn't work like that. So for that reason, then it can be quite a lonely business um, to run. With that being said then, um, like I said, I don't want to paint a too bad a picture on dropshipping. There are many good points. Um, number one thing being the freedom. In my eyes, this is probably one of the most beneficial things about it is the freedom that it offers you is just second to none. Like I said, you can sit on the toilet all day long if you want um, and run your dropshipping business. I'm sure you, you won't end up doing that, but if you really wanted to, you could. You could be anywhere in the world. You could be in any room in your house. You could use any computer. You can wake up at three in the morning, 10 in the morning, um, two o'clock. There's been times when I've woken up and it's been dark because I've just haven't needed to get out of bed or I've been up the day before or any social events I ever want to go to, I can do those. I don't have to book time off work. I can go on holiday whenever I want. But one of the biggest things, um, if I had to say something, was the fact that I don't, it's not, as stupid as it sounds, when I used to work a nine to five, um, living in Northampton, it's quite a kind of industrial town. Um, pretty much everybody had a nine to five so traffic was absolutely horrendous and that is the number one thing that I love the fact that I don't have to ever sit on traffic I can pick and choose when I travel and I tend to kind of um, go out in and between rush hour time so one of the main thing or the best thing for dropshipping for me then is the freedom that it offers you can do anything you want whenever you want um, because you can always run your business no matter where you are as long as you've got a computer and an internet connection it doesn't matter number two then is the scalability dropshipping because there's no kind of financial commitment up front. There's no kind of limitations into how many products you can sell unless your um, supplier runs out of stock. But even then you can just find another supplier and carry on as you are. So you can scale things really quickly. Um, I've done loads and loads of videos on it in the past, so I won't bore you now, but in the first four months I was making something like triple what I was working in nine to five. Um, it just went crazy well in the first few months because I could scale it that quickly. With most businesses, it might take them two, three years to get to the point where they're bringing in um, decent money for multiple different reasons. Whereas with drop shipping, there is kind of like no limitations. You can really just, when something's going right, you can just double down on it. And the only limiting factor for you um, is going to be 
pretty much how kind of resilient to risk you are because obviously the more you spend on marketing if it doesn't if it's not profitable then can you afford to lose that money so in terms of scalability it's really good the third point um, it's not really a true point but I wanted to put this in here because this is based on my opinion at the end of the day um, and to me drop shipping is a cool business to run like it's pretty cool like I mentioned earlier if you really wanted to you could sit on the toilet and run your business and it's really easy to get detached from what you're doing but if you actually think about it like you could be anywhere in the world buying products from China which at this point is like five six thousand miles away and then getting it delivered to your customers which could be down the road from you so anybody who follows me on Instagram you'll know that I've moved into Lincolnshire area um, and probably once every fortnight I drive past a place called RAF Scampton and I've sold maybe half a dozen different products into RAF Scampton and driving past there it's kind of I know I know it's stupid to say but it's weird that that place exists and there's actually people in there who have bought products off of me um, because it is quite easy to get detached from essentially what you're doing but if you ask me I think it's pretty cool that you can work from a laptop buy things from thousands of miles away and then get it delivered to somebody next door to you and yet they're none to the wiser the next as well is the testing speed um, this is a really good part about drop shipping for a typical e-commerce business or any business if they want to test a new product or whatever it is they might have to commit say 10 grand up front for a bulk order they might have to take that risk on a new machine or whatever it could be whereas with drop shipping like within the space of 24 hours you can easily have a completely random products that you've literally just discovered that minute put it on your store and start running Facebook ads for it so you can test things really quickly and make a lot of money really fast um, so for example fidget spinners um, being a dropshipping business like I said within a space of 24 hours when they kicked off and they started exploding you could get them on your store straight away and start capitalizing on that money same things with things like the masks recently because of coronavirus and hand sanitizer and soap things like that toilet roll I know there's like a meme going around because nowhere is selling toilet roll at the moment so with dropshipping it allows you to capitalize on those trends um, because you can adapt really quickly the next thing as well is obviously low budget to start so with a dropshipping business to kind of give it a proper go um, I'd say three four hundred pounds maybe a bit more depending on how aggressive you are or how fast you want to do things but if you look at any other business whatsoever um, it's going to cost you a considerable amount more than that probably like a hundred times more than that some businesses require thousands and thousands just to open just to get started before you've even had a customer come through the door whereas with drop shipping you can get your first customer onto your store for probably 50 pounds maybe even less and then the final good thing that I want to finish on a really important one as well many people forget about this is that by running a drop shipping business you're going to be developing universal and highly relevant skills so things like web development and web design um, are really important skills if you ask me pretty much every business in the world now needs a website or at least a Facebook page or social media page which are skills that you will develop naturally the most important thing though is marketing marketing is a super relevant skill it's universal it applies to any single business if you get really good at Facebook ads at social media marketing ads Google ads whatever it is you will have a job for life and you'll be able to make a boatload of money too because if you can prove to somebody that you can make them money more money than what it will cost to pay you and run their ads you'll have a business you'll have a job sorry for anyone in the world you'll be able to walk into any business in the world and as long as you can prove those things they will pay you as much money as you want to be paid you could tell them any sort of figure and as long as you can make them more money than what they're paying you they'll pay you that all day long so they're super relevant and universal skills plus they're not going anywhere anytime soon there's many kind of jobs in the past that require certain skills that are redundant now because they've been replaced by machines or um, cheaper labor whereas marketing is a skill that's been around for decades it will continue to be around for decades so to have that skill today puts you in a really good position for being able to make money and um, for a very long time and with that being said then guys that is all the bad and good points I wanted to go through in this video like I said I really hope I haven't put anybody off drop shipping because it is a really good business model it's provided so many opportunities for me um, despite all the heartache all the stress all the money um, I've lost at times 
if I had the opportunity to go back and do it all again, I would 10 times over. So try not to focus on all the bad points, but just keep them in mind. Know that when you see a screenshot or a video on YouTube or somebody who's made a hundred thousand pounds in their first month, even with that success, it's going to come a ton of heartache because they'll need the cash to fulfill those orders. Then there'll be all the customer complaints that come from that. Then there'll be the profit margins. How much of that is actually profit? So keep that in mind. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're going to be starting a job, shipping business then make sure you let me know leave a comment down below and i'll help you any way i can i read every single comment too so if there's a question or a video suggestion you want to put forward just pop it down below please make sure you hit that like button too um, it does help with the organic growth for the channel and finally please do make sure you subscribe for regular content and with that being said then thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one